iOS 14 was officially announced and released to developers back at WWDC in June. But shortly after, the public beta was officially released for those who want to try out all of the new features that iOS 14 has to offer and can't wait until this fall. In this video, for those of you who also still can't wait until later this fall for the official release, we're gonna go over how to install the public beta of iOS 14. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Keep in mind, this is a beta, and while it has been pretty smooth for me overall on my daily driver, I'd highly recommend not installing iOS 14 beta on your main device if you have a secondary device available. If you're wondering if your device is capable of downloading iOS 14, here is a list of all of the compatible devices for iOS 14 and iPadOS 14. And it's pretty simple to get up and running. The first thing you're going to need to do is back up your device because if you haven't already done that and you want to revert back to iOS 13 in the future, you can do so by simply plugging your phone into your Mac, head into Finder and locate your device on the left side bar. Under the General tab, select Backup Now and make sure the Backup All of Your Data box is selected. Now, to install the public beta of iOS 14 on your device, you'll need to enroll your device in the free Apple Beta software program. To do this, open up Safari on your iPhone and navigate to the Apple Beta software program. Tap the Sign Up button or Sign In if you're already a member. Enter your Apple ID credentials and tap the Sign In button. You'll need to agree to the Apple Beta software program terms and conditions, and then a guide for public beta screen will appear shortly after. From here, select the iOS tab and scroll down to the Get Started section and tap Enroll Your iOS Device. On the Enroll Your Devices screen, with the iOS tab selected, scroll down and tap the Download Profile button. Once the profile has been downloaded, go into the Settings app on your iOS device and then tap Profile Downloaded below your Apple ID banner. From here, you'll see the ability to install that profile in the top right corner of the screen. You'll need to enter in your passcode and then of course, tap install and agree to the consent text in order to get things running. Once the profile has been officially downloaded to your device and installed, you'll need to restart your phone, then head back into the Settings app, go to General, Software Update, and you'll see the iOS 14 beta software available for you to download and install to your device. So simply go ahead and download it, and then when it's done, just install it, and everything will be up and running. The update is about five gigabytes in size, and so you'll have to wait a while for it to download. So don't worry, it's not stuck or anything, it's just gonna take some time. But once it's downloaded, your device will restart and automatically install iOS 14 or iPadOS 14, as these are pretty much the same instructions if you wanna do this on your iPad. If you come across any issues installing the iOS 14 or iPadOS 14 public beta, it may help to clear any previous profiles that might be lingering on your device and then try again. That's it. It's pretty easy to get things up and running. And of course, if you already did this or if you're planning on doing it, come back and let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about iOS 14, what your favorite features are, and what you're most excited about with the iPhone 12 and iOS 14 being coupled together. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors, and I hope to see you around in the next video.